In this video, I'm gonna break down how you can measure your marketing and analyze your marketing for a self storage facility using Google Analytics 4. So what I found is a lot of storage facilities do not have Google Analytics 4 configured to its fullest potential. What many people do is they install the base Google Analytics code on their website, which gives you some basic metrics like traffic data, engagement, but really where GA4 becomes valuable is when you actually configure it to track rentals and reservations um, and add the e-commerce components inside of GA4. Now this requires custom work. You won't get that out of the box, but when you do set this up, what it does is it allows you to analyze what part of your marketing is actually working. The downside, if you're using um, whatever facility management software you're using, typically they classify the source of rentals as just website or internet. It doesn't break it down between Google business, between traditional SEO and from paid search. So you can't get the granular details on which uh, marketing channels are actually leading to rentals. So by configuring Google Analytics 4 properly, you can actually unlock that data. So I'll show an example quickly of what it looks like. So inside of Google Analytics 4, um, this is already set up here for this one that we just recently. I will show uh, under reports. The data we're going to commerce reports here. I'm just going to go to the overview report. And what you'll see is we have revenue, uh, which is the first month revenue that we're pulling in. Uh, revenue data, I care about a little bit less. I more care about the number of rentals, but the revenue data is nice to understand if larger or smaller units are being rented. Purchases, we could see the actual number of rentals that have happened and which day those came in. We could even see the type of unit, which we have set up as the item name. So we can see some climate control units have been rented. We have some drive up non-climate at different sizes. You'll see these are 10 by 15s, these are five by fives, and these are 10 by 10s. So we're getting this really granular product data on exactly what's being rented. Then really where the value comes in, if you go to your acquisition report and traffic acquisition, this is gonna show us uh, where the rentals are coming from. I have a custom channel grouping that pulls in Google Business, and I'll show that at a later date. But now when we look at the data here, all we need to do is change event count to be purchase. And this is gonna show us exactly where our rentals have come in from uh, over the past couple of weeks. So the vast majority in this case have come from Google business. And then we've had one from organic search. Uh, I know we had one from paid search earlier in the month as well, but this is where we can see that uh, exactly what's happening. So in this case, what we're seeing here, and again, this is small volume data. The more facilities you have or the larger market you're in, you'll have more data to really analyze. But what we're seeing here is uh, Google business profile is leading to a lot of the rentals in this case. So that's really critical to make sure we're optimized there and we're ranking as highly as we can be. Um, if we were spending a lot of money on paid search, and this is a hypothetical here with this data, this would show me that I'm not getting any rentals from there. And I'm really gonna wanna dig into why. Can I make an adjustment to fix it that'll drive more rentals? Um, or does it just simply not work in our market and we need to refocus that budget on something that's actually gonna move the needle? So unlocking this data in Google Analytics 4 is really critical uh, if you really wanna be smart about how you're marketing and have the right data to know what's working. Again, with just lumping everything in as website or internet, that'll give you an overall indicator of if your marketing is working as a whole but it won't give you the granular details to actually allocate your budget and make those strategic decisions that you really need to be doing to continue to optimize uh, rentals. So the way you actually go and set this tracking up, it really depends on what website you're using and what uh, facility management software you're using. This is one example of how to do it with um, SiteLink. Um, so in this case, horrible website. There's some custom coding that you need to put inside of Google Tag Manager and then this Google Analytics purchase event. I'm not gonna get into the granular details of this yet because it does get very technical, but the short answer is uh, using Google Tag Manager is the best way to do it and you could start debugging and figuring out how to actually do it and at some point we'll do a video going more into the technical details of this. But for now, um, look into Google Tag Manager and work with a developer who can implement this kind of tracking uh, for you and you'll be in good shape when that's done. And the final analytics tool that I like to use for self-storage is Looker Studio. Now this tool connects to all of the Google products and even some other ad platforms. It allows you to pull in all your marketing data into one uh, report that you can build out and customize. 
Google Analytics 4, I like to use to collect the data. I don't really like to do my analysis in here because the visualization options are very limited. Inside Looker Studio, I can make custom charts using the data from Google Analytics. So here, what this is showing me is I just want to quickly see where are my rentals coming from. And now I can quickly see Google Business, Organic Search, and then there's none from Paid Search yet. Um, my date range here, everything dynamic. But where Looker Studio really helps elevate your reporting is by connecting other analytics tools. Instead of just looking at Google Analytics, I also have my data pulling in directly from Google Ads. And now I can see any metrics I want to see. In this case, we're looking at click-through rate and cost per click. But ideally, I'd also want to see rentals here and cost per rental and a few other metrics. But it's all customizable. Now I don't have to log into Google Analytics and Google Ads separately. I can log in one report and quickly get the information I need and quickly see how am I trending. In this case, my click-through rate is trending up really well, which is a good sign my ad copy is working. Uh, I can also pull in metrics from Google Search Console. So this is showing me how many organic clicks am I getting each month? And I could see, okay, we had an uptick in May, and then now through our SEO work, we've had another uptick in September, which is our highest amount of organic clicks that we've received. So again, that's a third analytics tool I normally have to log into to get this data, and I can do this quickly in just a few clicks. You could also pull in business profile metrics. So here we're looking at phone calls, we're looking at actions, which also include direction requests. And I could also see my Google business profile views. How often am I showing up on the maps and search through my Google business profile? And here we can see we had a really nice jump up in July and now we were seeing a nice slow and steady trend of just more visibility on Google. So again, that's four different analytics tools I would normally have to log into and spend time trying to look at this data. And I don't have any clear visuals. Inside those analytics tools is a table with the raw data but you can't look at this and be able to understand how things are trending in just a few seconds. The visual is so important because right here I can clearly see, okay, what we're doing is working. So we're going to want to keep doing what we're doing there on the Google business profile side and um, getting that all in this report. So using Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, uh, Google Ads data and Google business uh, profile data, you can build comprehensive marketing reports for self-storage facilities. So I like to leverage all of these tools. Again, Google Tag Manager is more for doing the custom tracking and setting up the tracking. Google Analytics kind of stores the data and collects the data. And then in Looker Studio, that's where I actually make my charts and my reporting um, to actually analyze what's happening. So again, it saves a lot of time on a monthly and weekly basis. I can just quickly log in here, click on a few pages, and I have a good understanding of what's happening without needing to log into a bunch of tools. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you need help with Google Analytics 4 and you're a self-storage facility, uh, send me uh, an email. You could leave a comment on the video, whatever you want to do, and I can evaluate if we can help you get that set up. We've done it for a variety of facility management software and website platforms, so I'll just need to know what you're using currently, and then I can quickly let you know uh, if we've done it before on that platform, and then either walk on your side or actually set up the tracking for you so you could finally start truly understanding which part of your marketing is working and more importantly, actually making adjustments to your marketing budget allocation to improve the amount of rentals and ultimately business results. So if that sounds good, let me know and thank you for watching.